is the Mass 33 and uh, just showing real quick I found uh, another pair of eggs today which I marked off it's very important that you guys put in notes on your on your uh, you know notes in a, in a book stating the uh, uh, you know when you put the pairs together and whatnot but the, the reason why I'm making this video is not because of that uh, it's actually because I've been asked this question a couple of times and I think it's time for me to uh, to uh, you know explain it a little I was asked by several people, and, and including today, um, on, on my Instagram, if if the size of the egg does it matter? Like, does it matter? Because apparently, people hatch out eggs that are really huge, and they're not super giants. So then they'll have a you know a baby, and they'll feed it a lot, and it's a chunky baby and it hits a certain size at a certain time and all of a sudden they slap a giant sticker on it or super giant um, and that's not the case okay guys um, does the egg size matter no I have hatched um, you know I have uh, some of the females actually um, give me huge eggs like the next I'm gonna do a comparison video with the next eggs from Morpheus and Gemini. Um, they're just two. Um, one, um, Gemini is a, is a giant, um, and the dad is just a normal sized gecko, and uh, she's longer than him, but she's he has a bigger head. And then I put them to you know next to super giant eggs. Um, and I've noticed that my super giant eggs are, are not as big. Now with the other pairing, this is from StarTex and Mr. Universe. And then there's um, <clears throat> there's uh, Aziza in Mr. Universe. She's a super giant sunglo. Those eggs are huge. So <clears throat> the egg really doesn't matter. Um, you can have your first pair of eggs be big, second pair of eggs be small, or first pair of eggs small second pair of eggs big uh, the size of the egg does not matter it doesn't that doesn't tell you that you have super giants or a giant okay um, you have to actually have some kind of a lineage connected to uh, the moose line or moose's brother if I'm not mistaken and I don't think anybody really has that <clears throat> moose's brother I don't I don't know if they bred him or if he died or I don't know I'm gonna do I'm going to do an investigative report on that guy, but um, I'll talk to Ron. I never asked him anyways. It's funny. It's one of the questions I wanted to. I was just so excited to meet Ron Tremper. And, uh, you know, that I never really... He's like a superstar, you know, in the, in the Leopard Gecko world. A lot of, and, and and he's not forgotten, but most people, you know, have just, like, kind of dismissed him. Like, he's like, you know, he's the man, you know? You want to know something? That guy... That guy has more technique in one finger than we have in in our whole life, you know, when it comes to super giants. But that's the that's the main thing I have to tell you guys. It has nothing to do with the egg size, okay? It really has. It boils down to the pairing. It does. Do you have? If you want a hundred percent sure that you have super giants, just get a super giant and a super giant, breed them together, and then you have super giants, okay? Um, and you'll notice that some eggs will be bigger than others. Some eggs will come out a little odd shaped. Um, some eggs are, you know, it's just, it doesn't, that's not the, that would never tell you or determine the size of the gecko. <clears throat> I've had little eggs and some huge <laughs> babies come out of them, which I'm like, what? You know, it's weird, but, and they weren't even super giants. Uh, <clears throat> you know, they ate a lot during the first year, but then that was it. They capped off. I never bred them for like two years just to think, you know, just to test uh, to see if I had something. And no, no, it's just some babies have a big, better appetite. And if they're happier at their house, you know, in the enclosure, you know, and they're not stressed out, they tend to be better eaters and, um, and, uh, they just get huge fast, you know, so that does not mean that you have a giant or a super giant, um, you know, uh, just purchasing yourself, you know something you, that can trace back to moose um, the original uh, super giant and then uh, and that'll help you out <clears throat> I'm not really into all the cycle morphs you know that people are doing with the super giants um, you know doing some tanger some nice tangerine albinos and stuff like that I want to keep the line pure so in the future if anybody wants to prove anything out they could always you know have a place to go to and say hey man <laughs> I need to 
thing you have a super jam like yeah plenty you know and that's really what i'm be selling those other geckos i post on my channel um as a pet i guess i'll sell them but i'm not selling them for other people to to breed them and 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 uh and and try to make stuff out you can if you want but uh those are mainly for for sold as pets uh but these guys are pure 100% super giants these guys will always be uh, sold as pets as well as if you want as breeders and uh, always quality man if you want something nice you know you, you know you may have to pay a little more but you know I don't ever have any troubles with with my super giants I'm not saying because I get them only from run but I mean honestly I don't have any problems I, I, I pay a little extra you know but the quality is there and then when I sell I can sell for the same amount and the quality is there it's it's repetitive you know so again the eggs do, do not matter and do not determine the size of the gecko you can have huge eggs coming from two normal sized geckos um, so and you might have a big baby out of two normal sized geckos um, you can breed that out and you'll notice you won't get any bigger babies just that one baby was big it's it's a freak of nature people are st everybody thinks that oh I got a big baby so all of a sudden I have a super giant no you don't stop and then another thing that's again me upset is that everybody is just slapping a giant sticker on whatever they have or possible that word I hate that word possible so all of a sudden they're charging people a hundred to two hundred dollars more for that gecko and you know you're, you're so happy you bought that you're like whatever this is so cool and then you breed it and you don't get any giants whatsoever I mean you've, you bred it for three years in a row and you don't get any giants so I'm just saying out there as a consumer as a, as a person um, as, as you know if you're buying it as a pet for your child I guess it really doesn't matter um, but you know if you're doing it as a, as a for a breeding project and stuff like that it does matter it does matter and that's sad you know um, the reptile world is is uh, you know it's kind of dirty sometimes it's pretty shady you know I must you know and especially you know you have all these Facebook breeders you know you know it's, it's what you're allowed to see you don't really know anything you know and that's why I've made every time I purchased uh, super giant you know public you know nothing's private uh, everything's public um, you can look up all of my YouTube channels uh, videos and you'll notice that when I bought all my super giants from Ron I made that public um, also Ron has went on my channel and 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 you know and and uh, congratulated me on the purchase as well as you know just telling me a really nice thing where he uh, he, he knows I have a lot of desire to uh, one day become one of the biggest super giant breeders in the whole planet like that's my goal okay I want to have thousands of super giants um, Maybe in the future I'll delve into some some light morphs. You know, maybe if I if I hatch out two max snows, I'll make a couple of uh, super snow, uh, trumper albino. I'm I'm sorry, yeah, super albino, uh, super giants and stuff like that. But I don't want to do too much crazy stuff. Uh, um, I don't want to deter the value of these gorgeous animals. Um, now, because you don't have a super giant, does not mean your 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 gecko isn't awesome. Every leopard gecko to me is so cool. Like. You know, when I was working at Pinellas County Reptiles, like, so many people came in with leopard geckos, and I helped so many people, as well as the staff there. And we just, like, you can see that our eyes. Like, we just, we have to stop what we're doing just so we could peek in your box and, and see, what do you have there? I have a little gecko. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? And we just get so excited. So that's the bottom line, okay? Uh, this is what I'll be just, you know, selling, but it does not mean that a normal-sized gecko, even if it's a normal normal size is not beautiful it's it's just as beautiful as any other any other gecko I don't care if you bought him from Petco and you saved his life or PetSmart you know um, and you fed in his gorgeous is it's just as beautiful okay um, so I just wanted to give that out and it's a long video but I, if you listen to this video you'll, you'll definitely understand um, more about the super giant uh, alright guys thank you and uh, I love you guys all and uh, stay tuned uh, because sooner or later, um, sometime this week, I'll be having my first super giant baby. <laughs> it's funny from the same uh, pairing, and then after that, it's gonna be a whole bunch of them, and I'll and I'll upload them all so you guys can see them. Okay, love you guys, Mass Thirty Three, and I'm out of here. That's Mr. Universe. He's a punk. <laughs> Peace.